Dina here with Heroes Mind Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's really good to have you. Today is our composition class. During our composition class, we spend time talking about capitalization, punctuation marks, and proper usage of them both. Let's go ahead and open up the word prayer and we'll get right into our lesson today. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good work. So we're talking about um, different places where capitalization comes to play. Different places in our um, writing where we want to emphasize um, a certain word and show respect for a certain word or just altogether um, bring a certain word to, for, to front the front and the way we do that is by capitalizing it um so we have some more other, other examples of places where we would need to capitalize such as organizations do you have a church name what's the name of your church maybe uh first baptist first baptist church first baptist church or maybe uh pentecostals of the world Pentecostals United or something like that, or uh, perhaps First Lutheran or maybe Second Lutheran. <laughs> assembly, Assembly, Second Lutheran Assembly. I am not sure of any of these churches, okay? I heard names, I don't know. I just using these examples. But those are some organizations. You could also go on and on about, you know, there are tons of organizations, you know, Peace Corps, we're in a World Health Organization, you know, every type of every type of organization. There are plenty of them. I'm just focusing on churches because that's those that's an easy, easy option. So organizations, you need to capitalize the first letter in those words. Uh, planets, can you think of some planets? Maybe Saturn, Pluto. Is is Pluto still a planet? Saturn, maybe we should say um, Uranus, Venus, maybe Venus is a planet. Uh, maybe Mercury. These are the name of actual heavenly bodies, so we capitalize the first letter of these names. These are what we call proper nouns, so it's a name, so it's an actual name. You want to give it, it's um, you want to recognize it as such by capitalizing the first letter of the word. Now, the words sun and moon are not to be capitalized. Sun, moon, star. These would not be capitalized unless you're talking about the uh, a specific type of star or, you know, that that's when you can capitalize blah, blah, star. But normally you wouldn't want to capitalize that. What else do we have? Races, nationalities, and tribes. Have you ever heard someone say, uh, let's look at the example here. Have you ever heard someone say uh, East Indian? And what do you want, East Indian? Or maybe, have you ever heard someone say, well, I'm Caucasian, or, you know, I'm Australian, or I'm African American. Or maybe first someone say, I'm Egyptian. Or Brazilian, or, you know, on and on and on. Um, that's how you would want to capitalize those words. Any tribe affiliation, um, nationality, tribe, race. Special Olympics. The Special occasions. <laughs> That's meant to say special occasions. I was thinking that doesn't look right. <laughs> so uh, for special occasions, um, such as the special Olympics, on um, special occasions, you know, you would want to recognize that as well. Um, some examples of these would be like the Olympic Games. They say, oh, the Olympics, the Olympic. You know, that word we capitalize um, special occasions. Have you ever said, well, you know, it's, it's um, maybe you see something like, um, it's, uh, 
and say something like a pumpkin festival. Or maybe you heard someone say, you know, we're going to go to some festival or some occasion, some grand event, you know? There are lots of different events, I, I don't have a lot, but if you go to an event, perhaps you go to an event every year, you know, maybe you go to your Christmas holiday party, they would capitalize that, because it's, it's a name, it's a special name that encompasses uh, an event that is specific and unique. It's not very general, like you're saying, oh, we're going to a party. We're saying, we're going to the blah, blah, blah party. We're going to blah, blah, blah festival. You know, we have these different titles and names. Um, streets and roads. Have you ever heard of uh, Main Street? Main Street, you want to capitalize capitalize that. Uh, have you ever heard of um, something like um, uh, Johnson's Road? The street, the S would need to capitalize as well. Maybe you've heard of First Street. If it's a small town, they usually just call themselves First Street, Second Street, Third Street, Main Street. Uh, there are different roads as well. There are even highways. Highways would be usually capitalized. You can go on and on Main Street, uh, Smith Street. You know, Bell Street. You know, um, you could say something like, um, Lenard Lane, there are lanes, streets, roads. You would want to capitalize those. And finally, before we end, I'm going to talk to you about religion and deities. You want to capitalize the first letter of religious texts, names, um, deities' names. You don't want to say, what you don't want to say is um, Bible. You don't want, you don't want that. Because it's a very holy text, it's highly respected, respected all over the world. So you want to write Bible, you do not want to say God, unless you're talking about a false god or something like that. You'll see this written in the Bible. Oftentimes, when reference when referring to false gods, they'll put low case, you're like ha 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 to the false god. But most of the time, when you're talking, you're probably talking about the Almighty. So you want to recognize that he's almighty and capitalizing it uh, almighty even you want to capitalize a and almighty if you're referring to the almighty god if you're referring to um him you may call him you know majesty or the names can go on and on uh, we even say savior referring to the lord jesus we say lord jesus yes that's okay to say lord um you may hear, you know, Holy Spirit or, you know, Master, we refer to Master, you want to capitalize that or, you know, um, anything with reference to God, the Bible, any kind of special text. Even if you're talking about books inside the Bible, you don't want to say Luke, lowercase l, because that's the name, right? Luke is a name. So you want to capitalize L, you want to capitalize the J and John or A for the book of Acts, or E for the book of Exodus, or I for the book of Isaiah, or R for the book of Revelations, or P for the book of Philippians, or, you know, on and on. I guess we could be here for a long time. There are 66 books of the Bible. You want to capitalize those as well in any this, um, religious or deity that comes up in those sections. I trust you know a lot of this already. Starting next week, we're going to put some of this into practice. We'll start writing some sentences and making sure that you're able to look at that sentence, recognize what words are in that sentence are proper nouns and need to be capitalized to reflect their unique, res respected, or special emphasis in the sentence. But until then, please take time to complete your composition exercise in your workbook. Um, you can talk about what you've seen in a butterfly before. Thank you so much for coming to class, for being a part of today's lesson. But until next, until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body. 
And as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend.